Hello guys, welcome back to HTML Camp. In this video, we'll be creating an animated product card using HTML, CSS, and very simple JavaScript. Make sure to stay to the end to find out how this was made. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps. With that being said, let's start coding. In the head tag of my script, I'll link my stylesheet using the link tag. Now, go to icons.getbootstrap.com and copy the CDN. Paste the code in the head tag of your script. We can now use bootstrap icons in the website. With the universal selector, set the padding and margin on the website to zero. Set box sizing to border box and font family to poppins. Reference the body tag and set the background color to hashtag F1F1F1. Now, I'll open the website with the VS Code Live Server extension. In the body tag, create a dev with the class of container. In the style sheet, write the container class name and set the width to 600 pixels and the height to 100 vh. Also, set display to flex, align item to center, and set margin to auto. To make these changes more visible, set the background to white. Now in the container dev, create a dev with a class of item. Reference the item dev in the style sheet and set the position to relative, width to 350 pixels, and the height to 600 pixels. Set the background color to white, border radius to 30 pixels, and box shadow to 0015 pixels 0, and set the color to RGBA 0000.4. Preview the changes made. In the item dev, create another dev with the class of item inner. In it, create two devs, one with a class of top section, and another with a class of bottom section. In the top section dev, create a dev with a class of navigation, create an i tag in it, and set the class to bi bi arrow left to create the arrow icon. Duplicate the tag and change the class to arrow right. Preview the changes made. Reference the item inner dev, and set the width and height to 100%. For the top section dev, set the width to 100% and the height to 60%. Set the background color to black, padding to 30 pixels, and set the border radius to 30 pixels. Preview the changes. Set the color of the items in the top section dev to white. For the navigation tag, set the display to flex and justify content to space between. Reference the icons in the navigation dev and set the font size to 30 pixels, the color to white and set cursor to pointer. Below the navigation dev, create an H3 tag and type in the Nike brand, brand name. Create an H1 tag below it and type in the text React 55. Now, create an H5 tag and set the text to 1 slash 6. Let's add some margin below the navigation icons. Reference the H3 tag we created and set the font weight to 500. For the H1 tag, set the font weight to 600 and for the H5 tag, set the font weight to 400. In the bottom section dev, create an H3 tag and set the text to description. Below it, create AP tag and type in some text. Now, create a dev with the class of options and in it, create an I tag. Set the class to BIBI hard fill to create the hard icon. 
Now, create an anchor tag below the I tag we just created. Preview the changes made. Reference the bottom section dev and set the padding to 30 pixels. Reference the H3 tag in it and set the font size to 20 pixels and the margin bottom to 10 pixels. Preview the website. For the options dev, set the margin top to 15 pixels. Now, reference the heart icon and set the font size to 20 pixels, the color to hashtag CCC, and the border to 1 pixel, and set the color to hashtag CCC. Set the padding to 10 pixels by 12 pixels, and set the border radius to 10 pixels. Also, set cursor to pointer. Reference the anchor tag in the options dev, and set the color to white. Set the text decoration to none, font size to 18 pixels, and margin left to 10 pixels. Set the background color to tomato, and set the padding to 10 pixels by 12 pixels. Also, set the border radius to 10 pixels. Now, let's add the product images. In the item dev, create an IMG tag and set the SRC to images slash shoe.png. Also, give it an ID of first shoe. Reference the image with the ID and set the width to 450 pixels. Set the position to absolute, top to 160 pixels and left to minus 50 pixels. Also, set the transition to 1 second. Preview the changes made. Duplicate the IMG tag and set the ID to second shoe. Reference the image and set the width to 450 pixels. Set position to absolute, top to 160 pixels and left to minus 650 pixels. Also, set the transition to 1 second. Preview the changes made. In the HTML script, give the left arrow icon an ID to arrow left and the right arrow icon an ID of right arrow. At the bottom of the body tag, create a script tag. In it, create a variable called first img and set it equal to document.get element by ID. Set the ID to first shoe. Create another variable called second img and set it equal to document.get element by ID. Set the ID to second shoe. Create another variable called left arrow and set it equal to document.get element by ID and set the ID to arrow left. Create one last variable called right arrow and set it equal to document.get element by ID. Set the ID to arrow right. Create an onClick function on the left arrow variable. In the function, set first img.style.left to 650 pixels. Also, set second img.style.left to minus 50 pixels. Preview the changes made. Create an onClick function on the right arrow variable. In it, set first img.style.left to minus 50 pixels, and set second img.style.left to minus 650 pixels. Finally, set the overflow of the container dev to hidden. Preview the changes made. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, consider leaving a like on this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.